from Stephen Hawkins to Albert Einstein to Terence Tao. Their IQ level was between 160 to 230. However, there was one man in the history whose IQ level scored between 250 to 300. We are talking about William James Sirius. His approximate IQ score was between 250 to 300. Hello guys, welcome to Good To Know. Hope everyone is doing safe and fine. Let's know more about him, which is really good to know. In 1898, the smartest man who ever lived was born in America. His name was William James Sirius, and his IQ was eventually estimated to be between 250 and 300, with 100 being the norm. His parents, Boris and Sarah, were pretty intelligent themselves. Boris was a famed psychologist, while Sarah was a doctor. Some sources say the Ukrainian immigrants made a home for themselves in New York City, while others cite Boston as their stomping grounds. Either way, the parents delighted in their gifted son, spending untold money on books and maps to encourage his early learning. But they had no idea just how early this precious child would catch on. When William was just 18 months old, he was able to read the New York Times. By the time he was 6 years old, he could speak in multiple languages, including English, French, German, Russian, Hebrew, Turkish, and American. As if that wasn't impressive enough, Siris also invented his own language as a child, though it's still unclear if he ever used it as an adult. The ambitious youngster also wrote poetry, a novel, and even a constitution for a proportional utopia. Siris was accepted to Harvard University at a humble age of 9. However, the school wouldn't allow him to attend classes until he was 11. While he was still a student in 1910, he lectured the Howard Mathematical Club on the incredibly complex topic of four-dimensional bodies. The lecture was nearly incomprehensible for most people. For those who understood it, the lesson was irrelevant. Siris graduated from the legendary school in 1914. He was much speculation has been made over the years about William Siddes' IQ. Any records of his IQ testing has been lost to time. So more than the historians are forced to estimate. For context, 100 is considered an average IQ score, while below 70 is often viewed as substandard. Anything above 130 is considered gifted or very advanced. Despite his intelligence, he struggled to fit in with a world full of people who didn't understand him. After he graduated from Harvard at age of 16, he told reporters, I want to live the perfect life. The only way to live the perfect life is to live it in seclusion. I have always hated crowd. The Boy Wonders plan worked as well as you would think, especially for a person who has already been famous for so long. For a short period of time, he taught mathematics at Rice Institute in Houston, Texas. But he was all but driven out, particularly due to the fact that he was younger than many of his students. So what really went wrong? William Sitz briefly countered controversy when he was arrested at a Boston Midday Socialist March in 1919. He was sentenced for 18 months in prison for writing and assaulting a police officer, but he had actually done neither. That said, Siris was determined to live in a quiet solitude after his brush with the law. He took a series of middle jobs such as low-level accounting work, but whenever he was recognized, his colleagues learned who he was, he would promptly quit. The very sight of mathematical formula make me physically ill, he later complained. All I want to do is run an adding machine, but they won't let me alone. In 1937, Sirius entered the spotlight for a final time. When the New Yorker ran a patronizing article about him, he decided to sue for invasion of privacy and malicious libel. But the judge dismissed the case. Now a classic in privacy law, the judge ruled out once a person is a public figure, they are always a public figure. After he lost his appeal, 
the one side less serious than left too much longer in 1944 he died of cerebral hemorrhage at age 46 founded by his landlady the most intelligent man known to modern history left earth as a penniless reclusive office clerk all right guys thank you so much for watching in case you want to read the entire biography click on the link given in the description do let us know what would you like to see in the coming videos your comments are much appreciated like share do subscribe in case you are new to our channel don't forget to press that bell icon to stay up to date until next time stay safe peace out